What's up? What's going on, guys? Um, it's Chung here, and today we're gonna make a swan. So I know, like, there's like a, a bunch of swan, like I've been seeing, seen made on YouTube, but I think mine looks pretty beautiful, and I like to show you. So I usually use sticky notes. I mean, why not? They're like little, and they're so cute, and everything. So now, okay, so you need a square. It doesn't have to be sticky note. Okay, so now you form. You fold it like this in half. You open it and then you turn it uh, 90 degree and then you fold it again. And now you should have enough to do this. However, if you really insisted on doing it, you can flip it over, drop, do the diagonal. Diagonal. There. Now you can flip it over. Then do that. All right. So now, see, one of the downsides of being sticky note, using sticky note, is that look at this. It's like sticking, and I mean that's one of the downsides, but it's little and looks so cute. So now, um, we're gonna do it like this. And uh, this one. Those of you who knows how to make a swan, you know how to do this, but this video is for everyone, so I'm going to do the um, beginner's way. So, fold like this. Now we fold it like this. See? Now it's like that. Now you open it, and then you take this, and then you go, and then... It might take some time if you're new to origami, but you will get it eventually in the end. This is like one of the basics. So now you have this. Now you wanna put it down like this so you can so it can stay like that for a little bit because some folds usually they come out. So the size done. Now you flip and you do the same thing. So do that and then do that. Usually like like me I'm like a connoisseur kind of at origami swan not really um, but I just go straight away and do it this way is requires a little more skills but nothing you can't do so there we go now if you're new to origami um, and you do this you might succeed or you might fail <laughs> whichever it can go either way okay so now you got both sides to look like this. See? Now, now, this is the fun part. Now, you got these two. So, most people will just go up like that, up like that, and there's this one. But if you're a beginner, you don't know what I'm talking about. But here, we're going to do it this way. So, we're going to turn it, and then we're going to fold it like this. And then we turn it. Do the same thing. So, see, both kind of similar. So, be like similar, kind of. I mean, my folds aren't perfect, so, I mean, but it still looks good. Turn to the other side and do the exact same thing. Make sure they match. Okay, so there, fold another one. Now, it looks so thin, this one's gonna be so thin. It's probably because it didn't have enough food. <laughs> Alright, now, here's the tricky part. You're gonna find the side that has this. No holes. The side has holes. Okay, so you're gonna go up like this. And you can go all the way up, but make sure not to tear this part of the swan. And if you're using thick paper, I don't recommend thick paper, by the way. Thick paper is just harder to fold. So now, this part now we're gonna go down like this so now there there's the swans head completed see go down and then if you really want to go in depth into it you do another one that's like this right here so basically same fold but 
just like this. So it has another hog. It looks like a ferret now. Uh, now you're gonna turn this around. Okay, so this one, you won't be going up like most um, origami artwork. You're gonna go like this. You're gonna go out like this. And then now, this part, you're gonna tear it. Just tear it in half. Use a scissors to um, whatever to tear this part. Usually, I just tear it. A little bit. Uh, make sure you guys don't tear it. Like, I have accuracy so I can tear it. And it won't look as good if you tear it. So, I don't recommend tearing it. So, now, it's like this again. So, I have to flip it up. See this part right here? That's the consequence of tearing it. Some part might look a little bit like that. So now, but, you know. Okay, so this one looks like the leg of the bird. However, we need it to be smaller. See, so we're going to fold it in half. So we're going to go up, see? Up. It goes up like that. It goes up half. So it'll be like this and then you turn to the other side and you repeat the same thing so now you got that now we're gonna separate the wings a little so it looks like this and now you've done it congratulations if you finished it um you got this one and then you go with the wing or whatever and down like this but yeah good job Okay, guys. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you got if I um, wasn't clear on anything. Um, please comment, and I'll reply to you. And you guys can like this video, give it a rating or something. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that you guys have fun doing origami like I did.